Heck, man. The pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, scrappers, dumpster divers, trash pickers. <laughs> to me, we're just all a bunch of junkies. Today, I thought I would share. Um, we went out. If you watch our other channel, Idaho Hillbilly, go check it out. We showed. We went up to uh, McCall, Idaho, yesterday, and hit a couple junk shops. Uh, not all in McCall, but right in between. And then we actually ended up hitting. We hit four junk shops, I think, yesterday did not and i've talked about it in past videos you do not have to score abundance amounts of stuff you know to keep it going especially once you've built up your online store and everything anyway so i'm going to show a few of the things that we scored and actually did pretty it was a pretty good day mm -hmm. and miss kitty's behind the camera back mm -hmm. there so you'll be hearing her uh bossing me around i'm mm -hmm. sure <laughs> So let's first, let's start about this old, this one's painted up. I've sold a lot of these old clay uh, whistles or flutes. I mean, a little turtle flute. <laughs> pretty cute. Pretty cute. That's made out of clay. So that was pretty cute. Just had to have it. This thing I picked up more for just Miss Kitty, but it's great for uh, little okay. trinkets, little mm -hmm. clam. That probably won't be, should probably just keep that. And then I showed in that last video when we were out there going through the sheds, I showed the old planters uh, peanuts, cocktail peanuts tin. And as it turns out, this one, the way that condition that this is in and everything, we're probably looking at about 20 bucks, you know, which is something that's just out there, you know, barn find, barn fresh. I cleaned it up just a little bit. It's still rusty because originally when I got it, it had uh, screws and nuts or whatever in it. Miss Kitty did the research on it, and if this thing was sealed up with peanuts in it, it would be worth... 130 yeah, over a hundred bucks if it still had the peanuts. I'm gonna dump some peanuts in, I'm gonna try to seal it up. <laughs> <laughs> this little patch, I don't know, it's kind of an oddball thing. I don't even I really know why. I guess because of the hawk or raven on it. So I'll probably throw it on, it's nothing. It's kind of roughed up. I don't even know why it was sitting there. And this is the dude I showed this, found this on video. I just love it. I really don't even care. It's another one of those ones I just, I love all my stuff, man. I want to keep it for myself. A little bit of Irish luck. Mm -hmm. yep. So, man, pretty cool, man. Very well uh, made. It's, it looks like that. Remember that um, little troll dude? Yes. Yeah, that we had, yes. that we found, that we carried around yes. for a long time. It looks like this is made this out. This is not pewter. This is like yeah. a brass or a... Yeah. I'm not sure what that yeah, is. Was Very like a, cool. A I missed that little dude. That was, we got what two hundred dollars for that. Uh, it was just this little like one. That, yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. Sorry, man. We're having a conversation mm. here. <laughs> then old Wyoming uh, belt buckle doesn't even. It's got like a almost like spray paint. Yeah. Right there, well, so. no, I'm gonna take the. Um, oh, you gonna clean brush. that up? Yeah, yeah I don't even know. But brush. the thing doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Mm -hmm. Nice Wyoming belt buckle. Mm -hmm. See it good? Mm -hmm. All right. and then I showed the I showed the lamp finding this lamp. I cleaned it up a little bit. And this goes like this. I end up I got three, I think three bases and four lamps. And depending on if they sell or not, because if not, then I'm going to because this pops in here. And this has obviously been ripped out. These did come out of an old, this was an old cabin find that has been, or actually it was at the barn we tore down. Year, these have been sitting under my bench out there for years. Um, and if they don't sell, then I'm going to figure out how to fix this joint right here, man. Cause those hang up, man. Those would be mm -hmm. great in the mm -hmm. shop. And then not only that, it's clear on the bottom. So the light would come down mm -hmm. this way and, you know, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. I was going to talk about these old jars for a minute. Thanks to Walmart, you know, which they do that. But these old jars like this back, man, it wasn't even that long ago, man. Five, probably even since we've been up here mm -hmm. we used to sell and i have i had cases of my I, I think there's one on our thing right now which is a smaller little jar but these are originals man these are not the the ones that you're buying at walmart man these are the original old probably 40s or 50s um jars you know kitchen jars and walmart they do it man the same they did it with the copper mugs that i used to sell um 
you know, it's not really Walmart itself. No. It's companies do, right. and then Walmart picks them up. Obviously, I ain't yeah. blaming Walmart for nothing. Yeah. Well, I do blame them for some stuff. But we won't get in. This is not a political channel. <laughs> but anyway, water Walmart has killed. I picked these up, and the price was right on them. I can't remember. I think I paid three bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. Three dollars a piece. I don't really care because Miss Kitty loves them, mm -hmm. and she was. Um, Actually, I use a little, them. Yeah, yeah. She, we use them. You see yeah. them in the background. We use them for everything. Yeah. She loves them for kitchen stuff. These ones don't have like a... Because our number one, <laughs> if you're using them as a... What do they do? Got a little bit of a rubber. A little rubber. bit of a seal. Not rubber, but it's a, the way that they seal up. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so that was... So I got nine bucks into the three of them. Um, and what are they bringing right now? The original ones. Ten or fifteen bucks, maybe. If, you thought, if you're yeah. lucky, yeah. Because Walmart... I mean, you get the ones from Walmart. They got mm -hmm. the rubber seal, you know, so... Yep. Anyway, so those are for Miss Kitty. But I just wanted to touch on those. You know, if you're trying to buy them for resale, don't pay much. And then this old, it's funny because we actually pulled a couple of these out of a camp trailer. Actually, the camp trailer that I'm turning into a little cabin, I pulled, they had two of these light switches. And we did pretty good on the, mm -hmm. the two light switches. And then I end up finding one, you know, in the package, original package and everything. And the funny part about this as we picked this up quite some time ago and yesterday or was it yesterday she, miss know, kitty's going through her purse looking. looking for something and this thing slid in her purse it's been riding her, running around her purse for months and then this man i you've seen this kind of well i don't know if it's i left that in the video but look at this man this came out of an old ford mustang or came with a ford mustang is what we were told look at that brand new never used you put Probably, I would guess, an 1156 uh, tail light lamp in it. But look at the Ford, man, the old Ford uh, all purpose traveling light Ford. Is that cool or what, man? Love it. And then Miss Kitty showed finding this on the, uh, the Idaho Hillbilly video. Oh, cha ching, man, making money, baby. And this thing is so cool. When, when we first, uh, or Miss Kitty thought, you know, for a lamp. But then as we started talking about it, um, I think it's an old bottle. They made an old snuff bottle or something out of it, um, you know, or a bottle for whatever, because they wouldn't have put it flat. If it was going to be a light, you know, they would have left mm -hmm. that crown thing Point. is what we had decided and stuff. So we think that's a little shell, homemade, handmade shell bottle. Very cool, man. Very unique. We love that unique stuff. Miss Kitty found this too. She did good. Miss Kitty was on on her game yesterday. She outdid me yesterday, I'd have to say. Mm -hmm. But this, man, look at this, man. This is like a glass or a, I don't know if it's an onyx or whatever. It's got a little tiny chip there, but it's an old inkwell with the original glass ink insert. No chips or cracks on that. But that thing, I just thought that was just amazing. She comes up to me. Look what I find. Do you think you want it? <laughs> <laughs> she does that just to mess with me. Yeah. So that was a pretty good one. I did score me my books because good books don't sell. And this one I found very interesting. I may read it before it uh, gets put on. But this is uh, Public Power Private Dams, the Hell's Canyon High Dam Controversy. Should be a very interesting read. Like I said, this is not a political channel, so we will not get into what my feeling on the dams. This one, Montana Retreat. You know, Montana, you know, because Montana wouldn't be Montana if it wasn't for us Idahoans giving them that chunk. So I always, <laughs> and I like Montana. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one, I mainly, uh, oh, and it came from McCall Drug originally, 25 bucks originally, and it's signed by the author. It's actually a novel, which I didn't really know. I just seen the Montana retreat, seen that the author had signed it, so I picked it up. And then this one is definitely one that I want to read or, you know, look through. Dust cover is a little bad. Or not bad, but a little bent, I meant. Yeah, um, a Living History of Northern and Mountain West Idaho Coal oil lamps and cattle in the crops tells from the good old days in northern and mountain west idaho i am really excited about this one and i don't have this in my collection so we shall see it's a hard one for me some great stuff man i just love 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 that old history stuff like that is that all of it yeah so see that was uh 
So that was what yesterday, and you know, like I said, they did that was four junk shops. You know, we went to four junk shops, and this is what we got. Now, obviously, we have you know picked up some stuff for the kids, and we picked up a couple shirts. One, you know, a shirt for me, a shirt for Kev, um, other little doodads and stuff that you use around here. You know, because we live. 90 i'd say 98.9 .9 of our life is recycled reused repurpose you know the stuff we wear you know just everything we've talked about it before so but man uh still a good day out there man we picked up supplies took care of killed a gee, you know kill a, they always say two birds with one stone i think we did probably four or five mm -hmm. birds with one stone yesterday so other than that man i think Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there and warm. And that's why I'm in here because it is nasty, cold, snowy, and rainy today. Mm -hmm. So keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. And if you're out there treasure hunting, hope you find a little color in the bottom of your pan. See ya.